the Columbia River Estuary, where the largest river in the Pacific Northwest meets the Pacific Ocean. Here in this complex ecosystem, a unique event happens every summer. Large patches of non-toxic red water appear. Little scientific information exists about what triggers the growth of these blooms. Are they an early warning signal for changes in the environment? Scientists currently use higher taxonomic ranked organisms like salmon to assess the health of an ecosystem. But microorganisms react more quickly to change. Scientists from the Center for Coastal Margin Observation and Prediction have come to the estuary to study the organism that forms the red water and learn if it could be a sentinel for environmental change. My name is Lydia Erfurt. Uh, I'm a postdoc at the Center for Coastal Margin Observation and Prediction. Uh, I study microorganisms in aquatic environment and especially Meronectar rubra. Meronectar rubra is a very interesting organism. It's a ciliate, about 20 microns, uh, that uh, form non-toxic red tides uh, in the, the Columbia River estuary. A characteristic of Maronecta rubra is that it's a very motile organism. It swims really fast compared to its, to its size. And also it's phototactics, I mean it's attracted by the light. So it moves up and down the water column. So really when you see the red water from, uh, from the surface, it's really a lot of cells of Maronecta rubra that have uh, moved up the water column and have accumulated to the very surface, maybe to the first meter. CMOP scientists discovered in their research that the Myrionecta rubra blooms appear to originate in Ilwaco Harbor. They hypothesize that the harbor's water has a slow flushing time, and this gives enough time for the redwater bloom to develop. To test that theory, Dr. Herford and her research assistant Victoria Campbell went to Ilwaco Harbor. There they collected water samples at three different depths. First at the surface, then at one meter, and finally at three meters. These samples will provide them with detailed information about the amount of Myrionecta rubra and the cryptophyte algae in the water column. Cryptophyte algae are microscopic organisms that are ingested by Myrionecta rubra and allow it to photosynthesize. Dr. Herford prefers to process the samples immediately, so a makeshift lab was set up in a covered area near the harbor. There they filtered samples to gather cell counts for Myrionecta rubra and the cryptophyte algae present in the water column. They also took particulate and dissolved chemistry samples. The end result is to understand the impact of Myrionecta rubra on the carbon and nitrogen cycles. One of the things CMOP scientists are trying to understand is if Myrionecta rubra can be used as a predictive organism for changes in the environment. One of the ways they are trying to achieve this goal is by creating computer models to determine what conditions enable Myrionecta rubra's retention within the estuary. Yvette Spitz is a colleague of CMOP and a professor at Oregon State University. She is developing a biological model that will simulate how Myrionecta rubra grows and moves through the estuary. She needs a great deal of information to make that model as realistic as possible. And one key piece of data is growth rate. To gather that information, Herford and Campbell took water samples they collected and incubated them in the harbor for 24 hours. They counted cells before and after the incubation period. The difference between the two will tell them if the Myrionecta rubra population is growing and at what rate it increases in the harbor. The next plan is really to look at all the biogeochemistry data we have accumulated, sending all the samples for analysis from this year and then looking at them together with all the previous years and looking at the pattern, see if there is any clear pattern uh, of biogeochemical impacts. CMOP scientists will continue their research into red water blooms by implementing new monitoring sensors and using unique techniques to analyze cells. Through these efforts, they hope to discover if Myrionecta rubra is a sentinel 
it acts like an early warning signal for environmental change in the Columbia River estuary.